Howdy once again, it's Tubal Cain, and this video is a follow-up to uh, my Myth Breakers uh, number one, the use and abuse of a crescent wrench. So be sure and go back and see that if you have not, but we'll call this Myth, <laughs> Myth Breakers number one and a half because I'm just following up here. I had a lot of requests to uh, take this one surviving Arkansas socket wrench and and this is the ABC of hand tools here. It's probably uh, copyrighted. Well, it is, but I'm, I'm giving them credit for it. I was not able to damage this Williams 8-inch wrench uh, in the correct direction, which is this way. So I'm going to do it in the opposite uh, direction, hopefully to destroy it. And because you guys are, have destructive tendencies out there, and so do I. But let me also talk about getting my warranty on this. It's a craftsman. And, you know, up until the time that they developed the, the adjustable crescent wrench, they used monkey wrenches. And I had a whole bunch of those. And I got rid of all of them because I, I never did have, have a use for them other than they were great for bending metal. And I like the right angle here rather than the 22 and a half degree angle. But they were commonly used as a hammer. They had a well, it had a built-in hammer right there, so every one of those you ever ran across was damaged. And we know that these wrenches are widely used and abused, but so what? That's what we're using them for. There, boy, there's one that I've had. Got my name on it since 1971. I got this. Crushing. That's a 12-inch. And I'd like to, to do some more destructive testing. But let's start out again by using my three-foot cheater bar, which is something we really never should do, nor should we ever hammer on one. But the reality is, when you're out in the sticks and you have only one tool, you'll do anything to get the job done. And some people uh, in comments said, well, I never use a crescent wrench. They're worthless. I use a box end. I use a socket. Well, so do I when I can, but there are times when a farmer was out in the field with an old John Deere tractor, and he didn't have many tools to start with, but he had a crescent wrench hanging from one of the knobs, and he would use that to adjust uh, the planter or the plow or whatever it was, or make repairs, and it was a, a tool chest that was one tool, and you could hit with it and everything else, but that's that's the story on adjustable wrenches. But all right, let's uh, let's give this a try. I wanted to show you one other thing in here in this book that uh, we are never supposed to use a cheater bar, of course. And there's old primitive Pete doing as so. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And be careful to never push on a wrench. You should always pull. And if I've fallen down my share of times, too, from pulling and busted knuckles on pushing. Now, if you haven't seen the 30-minute uh, movie called ABC of Hand Tools, be sure and watch that. It was a Disney production during the war for, uh, for training purposes, but there are several copies of this on YouTube. So just look up ABC of Hand Tools. It was by General Motors, but all of the artwork was done by Disney. All right, let's see what happens with the three foot one inch black pipe. And I got the jaws down tight, as tight as I can get it. The wrench is in the upside down position. And again, I use them either way. I don't care. I got so many. I got a hundred of these, remember. And let's see what happens here. I'm on a hex now instead of a square. I do tend to look away in case something shatters. I don't look at it, but the camera will catch this. So watch. Now that nut had slack in it. All right, that's not going to work. I, I need a welded nut. 
All right, let's try it again. Well, the nut just rounded off. Still works fine. Let me get a piece of square stock. Well, it totally rounded off the nut. That little Williams wrench is the wrench that won't die. So now we got some one inch square. Let me mount that on the vise and see what happens. The only problem with that, it takes the wrench out pretty much to its maximum extension here. Well, this is the coup d'etat. Get it ready. Nope. I'm going back in the correct direction and let's see what happens. Now we'll rotate it on the one inch square in the so-called correct direction. Round it off the square and it still works fine. I think I'm giving up. This is just an indestructible and that's why they call it the Williams Super adjustable. Perhaps you never heard of Williams wrenches because they're primarily an industrial product, not usually available in retail stores and certainly not in a box store. This particular segment, I don't know if it proves anything, but take a look at this. Uh, this is a right made in USA, one inch open end wrench, box on the other end. Notice how long the jaws are. I, I'm not used to seeing wrenches like that. But I'm going to put that on that square stock. And here's a piece of two inch pipe that's my cheater bar and see what happens. I know I can't break the wrench, but I just want to see if it, if it rounds off the stock. All right, here we go. I did not expect that to happen, but there's the right wrench. Broke off. See how it's crystallized? I have at least a dozen USA made wrenches, so I have uh, nothing to lose here. I don't mind that happening at all. I don't do that much big work anymore either. I don't know where the other piece of the jaw went, but wasn't that interesting? But I tell you, it took considerable pulling on that cheater bar to do that on the one inch stock and let's take a look at the stock not too much damage there but I attribute that that's it on the other side to those uh, very deep jaws it just couldn't slip off I hope you found that interesting, and that was just uh, impromptu. All right, another thing uh, to show you here, so don't go away. Now, you needn't feel sorry for me on that, because there's a lot more one-inchers where that came from. And I want you to notice, now again, this is a right that a, let me pick another major, this is a Mac, also a major brand, There's a, it's a one-inch, but look at the difference in the length of the jaws. That's a full three sixteenths of an inch longer. All right, enough on that. Now what I wanted to talk about is this. All right, I went down to our local Ace Hardware because the nearest Sears store is about uh, 25 miles and I didn't want to go over there but you know now everybody and his brother sells craftsman tools. So I went into the, the Ace Hardware store and I did a uh, uh, Alan Funt uh, special with a hidden camera. Well, later I disclosed the camera. But 
You watch now as I go in there with my phone, this is done with my cell phone, the audio is very poor as it always is because I'm too far away from it, but turn your speaker way up and run through that a couple times as I show these men this broken wrench and ask for another one. So what do you think happened? Now I can't answer all the questions, again there's too many, I get hundreds of uh, comments a day, so uh, talk amongst yourselves if you will. And I would appreciate it in the comments if you guys would help patrol, and uh, there are again a lot of uh, trolls, and you do the patrolling and put them down as needed because I'm not going to get into a contest with them. And uh, all right. This is the end of the video other than the clip on the hardware store, and I think you will like that. So this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now. I'm going into the Ace Hardware Store to see if they will honor the warranty on this broken Craftsman adjustable wrench. So let's see what happens. Well, here's the Craftsman display, yeah. and there's the wrench, all right, at $16. Okay. Hi. Bob? Holy cow. Yeah. Holy cow. I came to collect my warranty. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, can you come to the uh, Craftsman tool wall? Yeah, they got them locked up like they're valuable. I bet they're made in China now. I bet they are. Wow. So we're going to see if the uh, if the warranty is any good. Should uh, be. It used to be like that for Stanley, and then that all went away. Yeah. So I don't know what the deal is with these. I'll get somebody that knows. Yeah. You know, it no longer says warranted up there, but it says... We've got America's best brands. Isn't that something? Do we warranty these? Whatever. It's Craftsman six inch wrench. If we have one to replace it. Yeah, we do. Lifetime warranty. Your honorable men. No, Bob, is that made in America? Who knows? What, what does it say on that wrench? It's Craftsman. Right. Forged in USA. It forged, say yeah. Made. Oh, it does say forged in USA. Yeah. All right, now, yeah, yeah. I, I'm taking a video of this, and let me tell you something right now. Yeah. That I came in here to warrant, to... To, uh, and I know you guys, to see if uh, if I could get this free, and I can. Yeah. But now I'm going to tell you I don't want it free, because I abused that wrench, that broken wrench, mm -hmm. and so I don't want to collect it. Besides, I got a hundred wrenches at home. And I, don't, I don't need it. I just wanted to see if it was uh, good. I didn't put your face in this, but guys, ten thousand men will see this video on, on YouTube on YouTube that you were honorable so thank you oh well that's easy and, and I got to show them that I'm honest too I now can, can you hold this one right alongside yeah, here yeah. so we can I'll even show the crack yeah this this is pretty interesting and I'm I yeah. appreciate this guy you took the time I wasted your time but and I'm not well gonna... it might be good publicity for Ace Hardware yeah and, and grass we're your wingman remember pardon that, your wingman that's what it our sign says, oh, there oh. it is. Ace right. Hardware yes. Wingman. You yeah. should get that in there. Yeah, all right, we'll put in the Ace Hardware Wingman. Yeah. Th this is a good store. This is a store I've been trading in for uh, 35 or 40 years, and they've always treated me right. But well, we all have. And, yeah, <laughs> and if my voice sounds funny, it's because I just spent $900 on a on a crown, so I'm, I'm still Ooh. dead here. Yeah, so you're still I actually could that. afford a wrench if I had to. So. You're still under the influence. <laughs> I'm under the influence of love. Thank you, Bob. Yeah.